Welcome to Measuring Perimeter and Area. Ninja Edition with Big and Little Rascal's team, Gunbate. Let's go! Yeah! Hey, Ninja! Do you know what is the perimeter of this square shape? Okay, first, let's see. What is perimeter? Perimeter is the sum of all length of all sides around a shape. Perimeter is one dimensional because it only sums up all length of all sides of a shape until back to your starting point. Let's first investigate this square shape. This square shape has four equal length of sides. One, two, three, and four. In this square, each side length is four meters long. So what is the square's perimeter? Four plus four plus four plus four equals to 16 meters. Or if we use multiplication, then four sides of four meters equals to four multiplied by four meters equals to 16 meters. So the formula for square shape perimeter is four times side length. Great work, Ninja! But how about this shape? It's a rectangle! Rectangle also has four sides, but only the opposite sides are equal length. So this rectangle's perimeter is 2 plus 2 plus 5 plus 5 equals to 14 meters. Or when we put into the rectangle's perimeter formula is 2 multiplied by its length plus 2 multiplied by its width or its length plus its width then we multiply it by 2 equals to 2 plus 5 equals to 7 and multiply by 2 so it equals to 14 meters yay great work now we have learned about how to calculate perimeter of square and rectangle shapes. Ninja, you did a good job! Hi! Let's get a harder challenge. Ready? Now, how about this shape? It's a circle! That's right! But, how many sides a circle has? It's tricky, right? Circle has no straight sides. So, how to calculate the perimeter of a circle? Let's zoom here the circle perimeter formula. It's circle perimeter equals to 2 multiplied by pi, then multiplied by r. Okay, I got it now that you are confused. That's okay. Let me explain more here. And this pi... What a strange looking sign! This strange sign is called pi. It's not a pi for dessert, but it is a Greek symbol for calculation. It's called pi. But what actually is this pi? Well, pi is the ratio of circles outlined to its diameter. And this is a constant number. Means that we use the same value of pi for any circle. So what is the value of pi? We use pi value as 3.14. Yes, this pi value is an approximate number and it is constant. Means that the value is always the same. Whenever we use pi, the value is an approximate 3.14. R in the formula means radius. See in the circle, 
The radius is the distance from the center of a circle to its edge. Radius is a half length of circle's diameter. Diameter is the length from edge to edge of a circle through its center. Two times circle's radius length is equal as circle's diameter. So, Ninja, now, are you able to figure out what is the perimeter of this circle? If the diameter of this circle is 20 cm. It's 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by its radius. Remember, diameter of a circle is equal to 2 times its radius length. So radius is 20 cm divided by 2. We get radius is equal to 10 cm. Now, let's calculate the circle's perimeter. Circle perimeter equals to 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 10 cm equals to 2 multiplied by 3.14 and multiplied by 10 cm is equal to 62.8 cm. Wow! Another great word, Ninja! If you are not familiar with decimal number, not to worry. Please watch our fun video about decimal number. Only at Big Anita Rascal's Fun Learning Videos. Excellent work everyone! Now, we have more understanding about perimeter of some shapes. Shall we go deeper? Yes! Okay, let's begin. We have learned about the perimeter, the total length of shapes outline. Now, how about the inner area of the shape? Area is the measurement of the entire surface of the shape. When you color inside a shape entirely, that's the area of the shape. In this square shape, we color it with purple color and that's the area of the square shape. Got it? Now, how to calculate this area of the square shape? Yeah. Now, the big square shape is broken into small squares inside it. As we know here, that its side's length of this big square is 5 cm long and its small square inside represents 1 cm long. Finding the area of this square shape is the same as finding how many small squares can fit into that big square shape. When you count all the small squares inside the shape, you will get that the total of all small squares inside is 25 small squares. So this 25 small squares is actually the total area of the big square. The formula for calculating the area of the square shape is size length multiplied by side length. Square area equals to 5 centimeters multiplied by 5 centimeters equals to 25 square centimeter. For calculating area, remember the result is in square of unit of measurement. In this case, the unit of measurement is in centimeter. So the result is square centimeter. Hey, Ninja, do you know why area result ends? With square unit of measurement? Okay, let me answer this. Because area is two-dimensional shape. It has length and width. 5 multiplied by 5 equals to 25. Centimeter multiplied by centimeter equals to square centimeter. So, two-dimensional shape's area is represented 
in square units. Now, what is the area of a rectangle? Do you know? Let's see the formula. Rectangle area equals to length multiplied by its width. Rectangle area equals to 7 cm multiplied by 3 cm equals to 21 square centimeters. Don't forget the square unit sign at the end. 21 square centimeters. Yay! Awesome! Excellent everyone! Great work! Equals to 800 square meters minus 
128 square meters. So, the purple colored area equals to 672 square meters. Hooray! We solved the challenge! Well done! Great work everyone! Hope you enjoyed this fun learning video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Big and little rascals, so you receive most updated fun learning videos from us. Thank you!